How should I start this video? Well, I don't know. But, we're doing something interesting today on the Evo. Since the tires I have are really wide, and I tried to trade tires with one of my homies, but they couldn't get them to beat on my wheel. We're widening out my front fender so I can clear the meaty tires. I want to go buy this at Home Depot. It's only 10 bucks. It has a bunch of little holes in it, and I just cut them out and very size. I cut these two out to the same size because I don't know if I can run this one. Because normally what people do when they widen out their fenders this way, they just run two holes like this. But I'm going to see if I can get it a little wider. Maybe like that. So I cut out a couple of different sizes. And I got my bolts right here. Let's get to it. I got all the wheels off. Those are my buddy's wheels. He's going to come pick those up right now. But... So it look mean. It's more in the process of trying to get them to clear better. I'm going to run a little bit of camber in the rear. But not too much. Maybe like three, negative three. But I'm not going to be able to record this process. So I'm going to just keep you guys updated as I continue. Because it is night out and I just can't wait to get these on. Kilo, come here. Good boy, Kilo. All right, guys, so first we're going to start off by taking a 10 millimeter bolt that's all that's under the the car that connects from the fender to the frame. There's another bolt in here. That's where the bracket's going to go. And it's just a 10 millimeter. I got this fender done. Looks pretty dope. It looks all wide compared to this one. And I just put the front wheels on so I can see how, um, if it actually made a noticeable difference, but let me focus this. That's the one I haven't touched yet. And then this one's the one that I already put the bracket on. I gotta tell you guys, this thing looks beast. Looks way better without a wing. But uh, here's the final product of the fenders. I couldn't record that much because I didn't have a person on me recording. Like I told you guys before, I didn't have a gimbal or nothing like that. So now the fitment's way better now. I don't really rub as much. And it looks good. It sits it. The wheel finally sits flush to the fender. Now I gotta work on the back. I'm gonna just order some control arms for the back. Camber it out just a tiny bit. But the fenders look dope. Let's see. Looks way better. I just can't get over how fat it just looks. I love how the fenders look. I'm gonna be throwing on my vortex generator. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. I know this this took a while to upload. I've had these wheels on for a couple, maybe like a week or so, but this just took so long to edit. Not edit, but it just took so long to record because I, I work a lot, so. One day I would work on the car, one day I couldn't, the other day I'd cut the fenders, the next day I had to cut the other fender. I just couldn't do it all at once, but thank you guys for watching.